everybody. Hello. How are you? How are you doing? Welcome to our November general knowledge special live online pub quiz. How are you all doing? I hope you're well. My name is Josh. I will be your quiz host tonight and I will be walking through the quiz with you and testing your general knowledge across a bunch of some stuff. Uh, we are going to kick off the quiz in about 15 minutes so you still do have a bit of time to get yourself ready, get yourself together, get on the platform, all of that stuff. You still have a bit of time. Um, now, first thing we'd love for you to do is follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Our handle is QuizWorkHQ across most things. So give us a follow, give us a tweet if you're enjoying yourself tonight. Give us a nice Instagram snap, show us off. We love to see it. Hello, Steph, how are you? Nice to see you in the chat there. Um, if you do have any problems during gameplay tonight, or if you are struggling to log onto the platform, anything like that, please go to quizup.co.uk and you can use our live chat functionality on our website to speak to our team and they'll be able to help you with any issues you might be having and get you on the platform as soon as possible. If you are watching this, you have already found a link to the live stream. If you've bought a ticket, you have been sent an email with a link to the quiz portal, a link to this live stream and your unique player ID. All of the instructions on how to play is in the email too, but I will explain these again for you before we begin. So don't worry if this is your first Quiz Whip quiz. I will walk you through it. I will take your hand and walk you through the quiz. Um, and I'll share the game code with you, which you'll need in just a sec. But before I do that, I just want to remind you that if you are playing with other people across different households or even in the same household, make sure that only one person is submitting your team's answers. Only one player can use your unique player ID. Now, what I want you to do is go to the quiz portal, either on your laptop or your mobile, then enter the game code for this quiz, which is Bonfire. Then enter your unique player ID, and then the last thing to do is enter a fun quiz team name, and then wait to be accepted. As in our second season, we are continuing to give out a special achievement and a special shout out each quiz for the best team name. So be creative, make me laugh, and you may get a special achievement um, on top of maybe winning a quiz as well. Um, let's have a look who we have. We have some people joining already. We've got Inside Number 9, Regina Falange, we've got CBs, we've got Bear Beats Battlestar Galactica. I understand the reference. Uh, <laughs> I am looking forward to some good quiz-themed team names. We've got Where's Wally, we've got Clutching at Straws, Hell in a Handbasket, I'm liking, we've got some re returning team members, I like to see that as well. Nice. Um, we do want to take a moment to let you know that we have recently launched our Patreon page, um, where you can support Quiz Whip, help us continue to put on these quizzes for you with a monthly subscription. There are three tiers, each with different benefits for supporting us, including free quiz tickets, discounted tickets, access to voting for quiz topics, and a bunch of stuff. We have recently launched it. We are still kind of figuring it out, but if you do want to support us, if you do like what we do, feel free to the, go to patreon.com forward slash quizwhiphq and give us a nice um, subscription and support. Um, there's really no pressure at all. We just want to let you know that it is out there if you do want to you know, help us out and support us because we do know that we have a bunch of returning quiz players and we love you all very much. So we just want to let you know that that is there. Um, now moving on to the quiz, we do have five rounds. We have mystery, first of all. Then round two is history, geography and politics. Round three is science, tech and nature. Round four is music, film and TV. And round five is who is this, which is our pitch round. How it's going to work is I will read the question aloud on the live stream and then it will appear on your screen. There is about a four second lag with any kind of live stream like this, um, but we do try to you know, work that into how we announce the questions. Um, but if you do feel like that there is longer than a four second lag, if you're like a question or two behind on the live stream and on the platform, just give your YouTube live stream a refresh. It may have just been that it's lagged behind and it needs a bit of a reboot. So bear that in mind as we play. You will have 20 seconds to submit an answer. You will receive 20 points for every correct answer. Uh, but you will receive bonus points the faster you submit an answer as well. So the first player to submit a correct answer will receive 20 bonus points. The second fastest will receive 19, and so on and so on. So, as always, time is of the essence. Don't be Googling, don't be wasting time, don't be cheating. Uh, however, you can also earn more points for the more answers you answer correctly in a row. So for every three questions you answer correctly in a row in each round, you'll get a 40 point bonus as well. So 20 points for every correct answer, plus speed bonuses, plus streak bonuses. 
In season three, we are also trialing a new important change to make games fairer. Um, in these trials, you can no longer change your answer once you have submitted. So only your first answer will count. This is one of those games, so be careful about which answers you choose because you will not be able to change them. Now, let's talk about what you win if you do well on the quiz tonight. The winner of the quiz overall will win a £20 gift voucher of their choice, along with a free ticket to any of our future quizzes. However, we know that you might not have great internet. The live stream might lag for you. The platform might lag for you. So we also have a random leaderboard position prize. And if you come in this random leaderboard, um, random position on the leaderboard, you will win a £10 gift voucher of your choice and a free ticket to any of our future quizzes. So even if you have any problems tonight, don't worry, we'll still have fun and you still might just win something. And the random position for tonight's quiz is 13th. So maybe if you're not gunning for first, maybe 13th is where you're trying to land so you can win something as well. Uh, now, if there is a joint winner for any of those, the final winner will be the player with the most bonuses. Now, continuing on from our last season, we still also have our quiz houses. These have all been reset with new houses and new emblems. Um, but we have five houses, and you have all been randomly assigned to one of these five houses. We have, let's have a look at the leaderboard, shall we? We have Pink Falcon, Purple Wolf, Green Lizard, Yellow Leopard, and Blue Shark. As you can see, Pink Falcon is currently in the lead, although Purple Wolf and Pink Falcon keep switching, but anything can happen, especially in a quiz like today, where it's a bit of a general knowledge quiz. Anything can happen. Um, throughout the season, we will be monitoring the house leaderboard and celebrating house scorers in each house. And we also have a surprise bonus question at the end of the quiz, which will give you the opportunity to earn some extra house points for your house. So it's a little bit of a team effort, you're still playing on your own and you're still, you know, getting for your own prizes. But we still have the house leaderboard just to make it feel a bit more, you know, like a community. You've got some other people around you who are, you know, helping you out a little bit. Um, so that's the leaderboard. You can see the leaderboard at any time at quizup.co.uk as well. Let's have a look at some other team names. Who else has joined us since I've been babbling on? We have Butterfly's Wings. We have General Knowledge and Private Thoughts. We have Roy Cropper's Riding Crop. Denser than Mensa, Say La Beeves, Two Peas in a Pod, Lucy's Psychiatry Booth, um, Quiz Packham, Friendly Quizzes, um, Cab Savant A Clue, Club Savant A Clue. Great, did you, thanks for joining us. We've got the Parr family, we have got Sunnyvale Trailer Park, Fist of Pure Emotion, and a bunch of others. I'm sure I'll give everyone a shout out at some point tonight. Um, especially if you um, have some nice high scoring points. Um, general rules, be kind, be respectful in the chat. We won't tolerate any cheating. We won't tolerate any sharing any answers in the chat. Um, so, you know, just you know, common sense, be nice. We will block and moderate anybody who we don't feel like is following the quiz up rules or the YouTube community rules either. We are not afraid to use the ban button. Um, and as I've already mentioned, if you have any problems during gameplay tonight, please use our live chat feature on our website where we will be able to help you the fastest. However, you can use the YouTube chat if you want me to clarify anything or repeat a question. Um, I do like it when you are a bit active in the chat, just so I don't feel like I'm talking to myself. As we have Steph already kicking it off please you know please give us a give us a wave in the chat if you are uh, if you're playing along and you've played a few before i do like to you know just see those returning people and new people if you're a new new player today love to know that as well uh we are going to kick off the quiz in a few minutes but we will be kicking it off with a practice round first of all just in case you are new and you need to you know get the gist of how the platform and the questions are going to work tonight Rebecca, good luck everybody. Nice to see you again, Rebecca. I hope you're having a good Sunday. It is Sunday, it is Sunday. I might have said happy Wednesday earlier. I'm not sure, my mind's all over the place at the moment. Um, <laughs> that's a look, we have Pascal, we have Denser the Mensa. We're gonna quiz whip your ass. The U's. House of Hell. Nice. Um, Jenny says, hello Josh, hello Jenny. Alan asks, what are you drinking tonight hidden in the flask? There's nothing hidden, I'm literally drinking water, which is probably the least exciting drink I've ever drunk on a quiz up quiz. 
Only because I am feeling a little bit run down. You know, it's cold outside. You know, it's just a bit miserable. Feeling a bit run down. Feeling a bit low energy. So wine might not be the best answer. And I've drank on a lot. Drank, I've drank on. See, why does a quiz host who doesn't know how to speak English do this? I've drunk a lot <laughs> of wine in the past week and I think it's all just caught up with me. So that's why I'm on the wine. I'm not on the wine. I'm on the water. I'm on the water. I promise you. Okay, look, a few more minutes before we are going to kick it off. If you are having any problems tonight joining the platform, do make sure to uh, go to our website, quizup.co.uk. Give us a little uh, chat and a live chat, and our team will be able to help you if you, you know, if you haven't got your unique player ID, if you can't find the email, anything like that. Um, we will be able to help you there. Oh, and more reason to drink then. I do have a box of wines sat right next to me. So, you know, halfway through the quiz, if I'm feeling a bit... Um, if I'm feeling the vibe, if I'm feeling the energy, I might crack one open. But I do have my water here just to tide me over. We have got some more teams. We've got Club Trippicana, the the Derminator, Four Idiots, and Imaginally Less Tiny Baby. I'm liking your team name. I'm liking the um, how <laughs> how that's been progressing every week. Um, are there any I haven't given a shout out yet? I'm not sure. There might, I'm sure there are a few that I haven't given a shout out yet, but I'm sure I will as we play. Um, as a reminder, we have five rounds tonight, plus a practice, plus a bonus question. The first round is mystery. Um, if you've played a quiz up general knowledge quiz before, you'll know how that works, but I will explain it again for you before we start. Um, and we also have a pitch around at the end, which is who is this? Very simple. But we'll see how you go. We'll see how you go. Okie doke. I think uh, most people are on the platform and I think we're not having anybody with any pressing issues. So we are going to kick it off with a practice round. Now the practice round is three questions. They're very, very easy. I'm sure you're all going to get them right. Um, but it's just there to get you used to how to play. Especially if this is your first quiz whip quiz. Um, I hope you're ready. Let's start playing a quiz, shall we? Uh, practice round coming up. Question number one. Let's hope you get it right. Question number one. Which comedic duo hosts the TV series I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here? Is it Ant and Deck, Butterfly and Deck, Spider and Deck, or Bee and Deck? Which comedic duo hosts the TV series I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here? Now there's no points available for you in the practice questions, no points to win, no points to lose, it's just there for a bit of fun and just to make sure you get a gist of how to play. Who hosts I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here? Is it Ant and Deck, Butterfly and Deck, Spider and Deck or Bee and Deck? Uh, the correct answer there is obviously Ant and Deck. Well done if you got that one right. I'd be a bit worried if you uh, guessed something else, I'm not sure, but Ant and Deck was the correct answer. Next practice question. What is the capital city of France? Is it Hong Kong, Texas, Jupiter or Paris? What is the capital city of France? Is it Hong Kong, Texas, Jupiter or Paris? Yep, I can see most of you getting it right, which is, it's always a relief when I put the practice questions out there and uh, you all get them right. Capital city of France, your time is up. It is not Hong Kong, it's not Texas, it's not Jupiter. It is, of course, Paris. Well done if you got that one right. And the last question is a image question. I'm going to show you a picture of a celebrity. All you have to do is give me the, um, the first letter of their first name. You can type out the name if you want to, um, but we are asking for the first letter on this occasion. Who is this? What is the first letter? of their first name. What is the first letter of their first name? Who is this? Been in the news uh, recently, but what is the first letter of their first name? Your time is up. This is, of course, Adele. So A is what we were looking for, but um, you could have typed out Adele as well. So well done if you got that one right. That's a practice round. 
you know, easing you into it seems fairly easy. I promise you the difficulty level will increase very quickly. And they are not all going to be like that, I assure you. Okay, first round coming up. Let's start earning you some points, shall we? The first round is our mystery round. Now, this is a pure general knowledge round. However, all of the answers in this round have something in common. And what you need to do is at the very end, I'm going to ask you what do they have in common and you will need to tell me what you think all of the answers have in common. If you do work it out, don't put it in the chat. Don't ruin it for anybody else uh, because you'll miss out on points at the very end as well. Um, but even if you don't get what the gist is, you can still answer um, each question individually. There's no problem at all. Let's see how you do, shall we? Let's see who is going to be a front runner in this first round. Question number one. Which member of the Muppets from the children's television programme Sesame Street lives in a trash can? Which member of the Muppets from Sesame Street lives in a trash can? We do need you to type out the answer. Which member of the Muppets from the children, children's television programme Sesame Street lives in a trash can? Who lives in a trash can? Your time is up. I'm not going to tell you if you. I'm not going to tell the answer until the very end of the round. But um, Pascal, well done. You were the quickest there. Um, a few others. Um, quiz Packham. Where's Wally? Friendly quizzes. Helena Handbasket. You all got it right in some form or another. Um, we do need you to type out the answer. We didn't ask for a letter, um, so we will need you to type out the answer. But well done if you got that one right. Let's move on to the next question. Which sportsman was given the nickname Kid Dynamite? Which sportsman was given the nickname Kid Dynamite? Who is Kid Dynamite? Kid Dynamite, who is that? Oh, a bit hard here. I'm not sure if uh, we've got many sportsmans in the... Uh, <laughs> in the quiz tonight. Lots of delays there. Uh, your time is up. Well done, Hell in a Handbasket. You were the quickest there. Well done. Um, who else got it right? Cab Seven to Clue, The Par Family, Sunnyvale Trailer Park. Well done, and a few others. Um, well done, you've got them right. I will give the give you the answers at the end of the round, don't worry. Let's make sure we've got no uh, different spellings there. If you don't spell it entirely correct, don't worry, you'll still get a scoring point. Next question. In which modern day country was Cliff Richard born? In which modern day country was Cliff Richard born? In which modern day country was Cliff Richard born? Oh, lots of... Lots of you are getting it very quickly there. In which modern day country was Cliff Richard born? Where was he born? Your time is up. Um, general knowledge and private thoughts. Well done. You were the quickest team there. Um, let's have a look. Lots of you getting it right though. We're going to quiz up your ass. House of Hell. The Parr family. Well done if you got that one right. Moving on to the next question. In which sport would you find the Ryder Cup? In which sport would you find the Ryder Cup? In which sport would you find the Ryder Cup? I wonder if anybody has a idea what the answers here have in common. It will help you get speedy answers if you have an idea of what the answers could be. But your time is up. Um, well done again, general knowledge and private thoughts. You were the quickest team there. But uh, four idiots and a marginally less tiny baby, you were pretty quick as well. So well done. Uh, if you do have a spelling error, don't worry. We will still mark you correct. Uh, lots of you got that one right. 97% of you who answered got that right. So well done. Next question. In which month is a Mexican holiday, Day of the Dead, traditionally celebrated across most of Mexico? In which month is a Mexican holiday, Day of the Dead, traditionally celebrated across most of Mexico? I've got a feeling some of you might know what the uh, the mystery theme is, because you can very, very quickly on the uh, quick on the board there, but we'll see, we'll see. 
Keep it to yourself if you do know. Your time is up. Um, four idiots and a marginally less tiny baby. You were the quickest team there. Well done. Um, let's see. What have people put? Most of you have. Uh, most of you got it right. Most of you who have almost got it right, but just you know, just a month out. Um, let's have a look. Next question. Which alcoholic drink gets its name from the Gaelic for water of life? Which alcoholic drink gets its name from the Gaelic for water of life? I am not drinking this at the moment. I am literally drinking water. But uh, which alcoholic drink gets its name from the Gaelic for water of life? A few seconds left. Your time is up. I knew most of you would spell it the different way to what I spell it, so I'll have to manually mark you correct. Um, but uh, well done, Trivia Newton John, Lucy's Psychiatry Booth, Roy Crocker's Writing Crop, Sunnyville Trailer Park. Lots of you got this one right. Just gonna have to mark you right correctly for the variations in spelling here. Okay, nice one. Next question. Carlos Erwin Estevez is a birth name for which American actor? Carlos Erwin Estevez is a birth name for which American actor? Carlos Erwin Estevez. Who is that? Which actor is that? There's absolutely some people who uh, who know what the theme is, <laughs> based on your guess here. Uh, your time is up. Hell in a hand basket. You were the quickest team there. Well done. Who else got it? <laughs> I'm liking some of your guesses here. Pure guesses, I'm sure. Um, but well done if you got them right. Hell in a hand basket. You were the quickest team there. Next question. What is the capital city of Peru? What is the capital city of Peru? Capital city of Peru. What is that? I do like it when people get the theme, especially when it's a bit more obscure like this one. What is the capital city of Peru? Your time is up. Uh, well done to general knowledge and private thoughts. You were the quickest team there. It's going to be a tough one, this one, I think. Lots of There's a fair few teams who could be up there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well done to you. I will announce the answers at the end. Next question is an image. I'm going to show you a flag. You have to tell me what country this flag is um, for. So this is a national, f not, not that one. This is a national flag for which country? This is a national flag for which country? Which country is this a national flag for? If you know the theme, then... Uh, so you can have a good guess if you know the theme. Your time is up. Oh, some of you. Oh, we had some correct answers right at the end there, but I was very worried we weren't gonna we weren't gonna have any. Uh, well done, the Power Family. You were the quickest team to get that one right. It took a fair few of you a while there. Um, I do need the full name of the country as well. Uh, so some of you just missed out, but the Far, Far Family, well done. You were the quickest team. Next question. What is the fourth letter of the Greek alphabet? What is the fourth letter of the Greek alphabet? The fourth letter of the Greek alphabet. Fourth letter of the Greek alphabet. Let's see how you do. I can see lots of correct answers, though. Your time is up. Yeah, most of you got that one right there. Most of you. Um, but the quickest team was Pascal. Well done to you. And the last question in this round. What do the answers in this round all have in common? You know it's coming. What do the answers in this round all have in common? 
I'll be, I'll be, you know, I'll be loose, loosey goosey with whatever you put here if I, if I know that you've got the gist of it. Oh, lots of, uh, to be fair, of, uh, lots of you got this one right. I thought there was only going to be a small handful, but many of you have got it right. Uh, your time is up. The answers in this round, they are all, <laughs> they're all related to the NATO phonetic alphabet. I'll accept phonetic alphabet um, as well. So well done if you got them right. Lots of you, lots of you got it right. Wow, let's, have a, let's, let's make sure to mark all of these. It was James Bond was not what they all had in common, I'm afraid. Uh, Greek gods, not what they had in common, no. Geography. The number four, that's a, a, I'm not sure where you got that from, but I, I like the I like the bluntness of the guess. I like it. Uh, but yeah, the NATO phonetic alphabet. So I will go through <laughs> the questions very quickly now. Uh, which member of the Muppets from the children's television program Sesame Street was Oscar the Grouch? Kid Dynamite the Sportsman was Mike Tyson. Cliff Richard was born in India. Ryder Cup is from golf. Uh, the Mexican holiday, Day of the Dead, is traditionally celebrated in November across most of Mexico. Uh, the Gaelic, the al alcoholic drink, which gets its name from the Gaelic for water of life, is whiskey. Carlos Erwin Estevez is the birth name for Charlie Sheen. Capital city of Peru is Lima. Uh, the national flag was of Sierra Leone, and Sierra is um, S. And the fourth letter of the Greek alphabet is Delta which is a D in the NATO phonetic alphabet. So well done if you got that one right. Or if you got any of those right, really. Um, very well done. Um, if this is your first time on a Quiz Whip quiz, how our leaderboard announcements work is, at the end of every round, I'm going to give you the top five teams for that round only. It won't be until the end of the quiz when you get a better idea of what the leaderboard really looks like. But the top five teams for round one were as follows. In fifth place... We had four idiots and a marginally less tiny baby. In fourth place for that round, we had general knowledge and private thoughts. In third place, we had two peas in a pod. In second place, we had Sunnyvale Trailer Park. And in first place, for that round only, we had Helena Handbasket. Well done. And I do want to shout out Helena Handbasket and Sunnyvale Trailer Park for getting um, almost all of the questions right there. Um, it was a very, very good turnout for a round like that, so well done. Let's move on to history, geography, and politics. Some people's favourite round, some people's least favourite round. Let's see how you do, shall we? Question number one in round two. Which of these European countries is not landlocked? Hungary, Moldova, Czech Republic, or Slovenia? Which of these European countries is not landlocked? Hungary, Moldova, Czech Republic, or Slovenia? Which one is not landlocked? Which one is not landlocked? Hungary, Moldova, Czech Republic, or Slovenia? Um, your time is up there. The correct answer is Slovenia. Slovenia is not landlocked. Well done to general knowledge and private thoughts. You were the quickest team there. Bula, everyone says, whoop, second. Won't last. Have confidence in yourself. Have confidence. I'm sure you'll... I'm sure you'll continue to do well. Next question. Where in the world would you find the oldest continuously operating brewery? Germany, Belgium, the United Kingdom, or Denmark? Where in the world would you find the oldest continuously operating brewery? Germany, Belgium, the UK, or Denmark? Where would you find the oldest continuously operating brewery? Germany, Belgium, the UK, or Denmark. I'd love to go, just to experience it, I'm sure. I'm sure they do tours and stuff. Uh, your time is up. The correct answer is Germany. I think it's in Bavaria somewhere. Um, well done if you got that one right. Ooh, that's a tough one. Only eight of you got that one right. So, uh, good one to get right, if you were one of those people. Next question. Bit of history. Who was the wife of William Shakespeare? Was it Kristen Stewart, Emma Stone... Anne Hathaway or Kate Winslet? Who was the wife of William Shakespeare? Kristen Stewart, Emma Stone, Anne Hathaway or Kate Winslet? Who was William Shakespeare's wife? Most of you have got this one right so far, I will say. 
who was the wife of William Shakespeare. Your time is up. The correct answer is Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway is the wife of William Shakespeare. Uh, well done, two peas in a pod. You were the quickest team there. Well done to you. But Quiz Packham, CBs, clutching at straws, universally challenged. You were all pretty quick as well, so well done to you. Next question. Which US state name means cloudy water? Kansas, Minnesota, Delaware, or Michigan? Which US state name means cloudy water? Kansas, Minnesota, Delaware, or Michigan? Cloudy water. Who is that? Who is that? The, uh, the states are not people, Joshua. Where, where is cloudy water? Is it Kansas, Minnesota, Delaware, or Michigan? The time is up. The correct answer is Minnesota. That's where they get the state name from. Uh, well done, clutching at straws. You were the quickest team there. Well done. Next question. How many... How many colours does a Norwegian flag feature? Two, three, four, or five? How many colours does a Norwegian flag feature? Two, three, four, or five? How many colours are on the Norwegian flag? How many colours? It's a simple old flag, but how many colours does it have? Your time is up. Uh, the correct answer is three. It has three colours. Red, blue, and white. Well done, fifth of pure emotion. You're the quickest team there. But where's Wally? Very, very quick as well. Well done. Next question, a bit of politics. Which of these UK constituencies was not held by Winston Churchill as an MP? Manchester North West, Dundee, Epping, or Finchley? Which of these UK constituencies was not held by Churchill as an MP. Manchester North West, Dundee, Epping or Finchley? Which was not held by Winston Churchill. Your time is up. Bit of a hard one, I think. Oh yes, only three of you got this one right. Only three of you. The correct answer was Finchley. Finchley was Margaret Thatcher's constituency, but Winston Churchill had a few. He had Epping, Dundee, Manchester North West. He also had Hol Oldham, I think one or two others. Uh, well done, Regina Falange, you got it right. Club Tripicana, you got it right. And Friendly Quizzes, you also got it right, so well done. Next question. Which is the largest island country in the Caribbean by land area? The Dominican Republic, Haiti, Jamaica, or Cuba? Which is the largest island country in the Caribbean? Dominican Republic, Haiti, Jamaica, or Cuba? Which is the largest country in the Caribbean by land area? I'd love to go to the Caribbean. There are some countries where it'd be a bit dodgy me going, but uh, I'd love to go and experience it. Uh, your time is up. The correct answer is Cuba. Cuba is the largest island country in the Caribbean. Followed by Dominican Republic, I believe. Um, but Cuba is the biggest. Well done, where's Wally? You were the quickest team there. Uh, Denzel and Mensa, House of Hell, Sunnyvale Trailer Park. You all got it right as well, so great job. Next question. Another, a, bit of, a bit of politics again. Which of these celebrities had campaigned to be an MP in 2001? Russell Brand, Keith Lemon, Katie Price, or Charlotte Crosby? Which of these celebrities had campaigned to be an MP in 2001? Russell Brand, Keith Lemon, Katie Price, or Charlotte Crosby? Who campaigned to be an MP in 2001? 20 years ago. Your time is up. I think this is a hard one as well. Oh, even harder. Only two of you got this one right. This is a bloodbath. Uh, the correct answer is... Uh, the correct answer is Katie Price. Katie Price campaigned to be an MP in 2001. She lost a deposit. She only got about 700 votes, I think. Uh, but Fist of Pure Emotion, well done. You got it right. And Helena Handbasket, you got it right. So very, very good one to get right there. Next question. Which country 
is a commonly used .me internet country code assigned to the Maldives, Montenegro, Mozambique or North Macedonia. Which country is a commonly used .me internet code assigned to? So www.somethingsomethingsomething.me What country would that be? The Maldives, Montenegro, Mozambique or North Macedonia? .me Where is .me? Your time is up. The correct answer is Montenegro. Montenegro. Uh, well done, Regina Falange. You were the quickest team there. But general knowledge and private thoughts, Pascal, Helen Handbasket, Quiz Packham, you all got it right as well. So well done to you. Next question. Where in the world would you use Lempira as a country's currency? Lebanon, Romania, Uganda, Honduras. Where in the world would you use Lempira as a country's currency? I'm probably mispronouncing Lempira. Lempira? I want to say Lempira. Is it Lebanon, Romania, Uganda, or Honduras? I feel like I'm definitely going down, and I feel like during this quiz, you're noticing that I'm saying everything with a D. <laughs> oh no, it's all up here. Your time is up. The correct answer is Honduras. Um, well done, Pascal. You were the quickest team. Well done. Uh, who else got it? Let's give some different shout outs. Um, Butterfly's Wings, Club Tropicana, House of Hell, Sunnyvale Trailer Park, Inside Number 9. Well done. You all got it right. And that is the end of round two. How did you do? Let's have a look at the top five teams for round two. In fifth place for round two, we had Universally Challenged. In fourth place, we had Club Tripicana. In third place for that round, we had Sunnyvale Trailer Park. In second place, we had General Knowledge and Private Thoughts. And in first place for that round only, we had Helena Hand Basket. Well done if you were on the top five team there again. A few reoccurring names, but you know, some new ones in there as well, which is always good. But anything can happen. It's still fairly close at this stage. We've got three more rounds to go. Let's see how you do as we carry on. And let's see if I can actually speak without all of this up here. Um, we're going to have one more round and then we are going to take a short break as we always do midway through the quiz. But for now, let's jump into round three, which is science, tech and nature. Science, tech and nature is what we're going to do next. Let's do it. Question number one, round three. What does the S stand for in the US agency NASA? Is it space, science, satellite, or surface? What does the S stand for in NASA? Is it space, science, satellite, or surface? Space, science, satellite, or surface? Lots of correct answers here. Your time is up. The correct answer is space. Seems fairly obvious. <laughs> and it is space. Um, well done, Pascal. You're the quickest team there. Well done to you. Next question. Leghorn, Polish, and Indian giant are all types of what? Diamond, telescope, chicken, or daisy? Leghorn, Polish, and Indian giant are all types of what? Diamond, telescope, chicken, or daisy? Leghorn, Polish, Indian giant. What are they? Your time is up. The correct answer is chicken. They're all types of chicken. <laughs> uh, well done, the Derminator. You were pretty quick there. Let's get quizzical, clutching at straws. Well done, most of you got that one right there. Next question. What part of an atom has a negative charge? Proton, electron, nucleus, or neutron? What part of an atom has a negative charge? Proton, electron, nucleus, or neutron? Can you remember back to high school science? Was it primary school science? I feel like we didn't learn about atoms back then. 
Or maybe we did. It was a long time ago. Your time is up. The correct answer is Electron. Electron is what we were looking for. Well done, general knowledge and private thoughts. You were the quickest team there. But Sailor Beeves, two peas in a pod, four idiots and a marginally less tiny baby. You all got it right as well. Next question. In which organ of the human body is insulin produced? Pancreas, liver, appendix, or kidney? In which organ of the human body is insulin produced? Pancreas, liver, appendix, or kidney? Riding the waves says, ah, joined late. What round number are we on? We are midway through round three at the moment, so you are still welcome to join as if you've bought a ticket. Join on the quiz platform. You'll still be able to join and play along. Just don't share any answers in the chat. Your time is up. The correct answer is the pancreas. The pancreas is where insulin is produced. Having a right old science lesson here. Next question. In which modern day country was Nikola Tesla born? Poland, Albania, Croatia, or Romania? In which modern day country was Nikola Tesla born? Poland, Albania, Croatia, or Romania? Where was Nikola Tesla born? Poland, Albania, Croatia, or Romania? Your time is up. The correct answer is Croatia. He was born in what is now modern day Croatia. Um, well done, Pascal. This is a good round for you. You were the quickest team there again. Uh, but also well done to Butterfly's Wings, Clutching at Straws, Bear Beats Battlestar Galactica. You all got it right. Well done. Next question, another silly one. What animal is a mountain chicken? Fox, pelican, salmon or frog? What animal is a mountain chicken? <clears throat> Fox, pelican, salmon or frog? Fox, pelican, salmon, or frog. What is a mountain chicken? Your time is up. A mountain chicken is a frog. Well done if you got that one right. Um, very surprising, yeah. Mountain chicken is a type of frog. Uh, let's move on to the next question. An olfactometer is used to measure what? Sight, smell, touch, or sound. An olfactometer is used to measure what? Sight, smell, touch, or sound. Olfactometer, what could that be? What is it used to measure? Sight, smell, touch, or sound. Your time is up. The correct answer is smell. It's used to measure smell. Uh, well done if you got that one right. Most of you got that one right. I don't know how I would never have guessed olfactometer. would have no clue what it is, but 87% of you got that one right, so well done. Next question. Worldwide, what is the most commonly transplanted human organ? Liver, heart, kidney, or lung? What is the most commonly transplanted human organ? Liver, heart, kidney, or lung? What is the most commonly transplanted human organ? <clears throat> Liver, heart, kidney, or lung? All very, very popular. Happens all the time. But which one is the most commonly transplanted? Uh, the correct answer is a kidney. Kidneys are the most commonly transplanted planted human organ, followed by the liver, followed by the heart, and then followed by lung, kidneys. Yep. Well done to general knowledge and private thoughts. You were the quickest team there. But again, most of you got that one right, 80%. Well done. Next question, a bit more on the tech side now. Which technology company was founded by entrepreneur Jerry Yang? Yahoo, eBay, Wikipedia, or Amazon? Which tech company was founded by entrepreneur Jerry Yang? Yahoo, eBay, Wikipedia, or Amazon? Why am I struggling to say entrepreneur? On <clears throat> Entrep 
entrepreneur. Why is it so hard for me to say? Is it Yahoo, eBay, Wikipedia, or Amazon? Entrepreneur. On oh, now it's just not a word. Uh, your time is up. The correct answer is Yahoo. Jerry Yang founded Yahoo. Uh, Quiz Packham, well done. You were the quickest team there. I think that's your first of the night, so well done. But Denton and Mensa, you were pretty quick. General Knowledge and Private Thoughts, you were pretty quick. Well done. Next question. In which century was the dodo believed to have become extinct? 14th century, 15th century, 16th century, or 17th century? In which century was a dodo believed to have become extinct? 14th, 15th, 16th, or 17th century? In which century was a dodo believed to have become extinct? Your time is up. The correct answer was 17th century. Yep, in the 1600s is when the dodo was last reported and when we believe it was, uh, it became extinct. Pascal, this has been your round. You're the quickest team again. Well done. Uh, but who else got it right? Um, Hell in a Handbasket, Friendly Quizzes, Inside Number 9, Sailor Beeves, The Derminator, you all got it right, so well done. And that is the end of round three, Science, Tech, and Nature. Ooh, let's see how you all did. This is not quite what I expected here, but you know, that's what streak bonuses and speed bonuses does. As before, I'm gonna give you the top five teams of that round only, and it won't be until the end of the round when you get a better idea of what it looks like. In fifth place for that round only, we had Cab Savin to Clue. In joint fourth place for that round only, we had House of Hell and Sunnyvale Trailer Park. In third place, we had Let's Get Quizzical. In second place, for that round, we had Hell in a Handbasket. And in first place, for that round only, we had two peas in a pod. Well done. A fair amount of teams there got every single question right. So, uh, very, very, very well done. Um, the leaderboard is still quite tight. We've got still got two more rounds to go. And the last two rounds, you know, some people love them. So, it may be that the leaderboard will shift. Who knows? Let's see how we get on. Uh, but we are going to take a short break now. It is, it's 10 to 7, so we're going to take a 10 minute break. We're going to come back at 7 o'clock with round 4, and then we'll jump into round 5, and then we'll be wrapping up nicely on time for half past 7, I believe. Um, so go relax, go grab another drink if you're having one. I'm going to go away for a second, refill my water. Um, see that I'm doing okay but I will be back here um, just before 7 o'clock um, so go relax go have your break and then we will be back yeah, 10, 10 minutes 7 o'clock for the rest of the quiz
And I'm back. <laughs> Usually, I do hang around and try to entertain you as best I can in a little bit of a break. But, uh, turns out I'm starting to feel very run down and a little bit ill. So, uh, I've just topped up my water. I've, you know, sorted myself out. And I am completely fine to host the next two rounds. And then I'm going to run myself a bath and uh, have a nice chill evening after this. So apologise for that. I usually would have stuck around, had a bit of a chat with you, cracked a few jokes, but uh, just not today. I hope you forgive me. Uh, we are going to kick off the quiz again in about a minute and a half. Uh, the next two rounds are music, film and TV, and who is this? Our picture round. Um, both of them are fairly self-explanatory. Um, music, film and TV is a general knowledge uh, round all about your favourite singers and TV programs and all of that and then the last round is a picture round where I'm going to show you a picture of a celebrity all you have to do is tell me who it is sounds simple but uh, there might be a bit of a twist in there somewhere as some of you returning players will know then we'll uh, have a look at the leaderboard but then we also will have a very quick bonus question at the end of the uh, end of the quiz just for some extra house points but we'll get on to that in a fair bit uh, we are going to kick off the round, round four, in just a few moments, so make sure you are ready. I'd say give your YouTube live stream a refresh, just if you've been away, it might have lagged, you might have not have noticed it, and you might be a few seconds behind, so just give the YouTube live stream a refresh, always good to do that, if you can. If you're watching this on the TV, I don't know how you do that, but um, always just a bit of good practice. Um, and then we are going to kick it off in a second. Riding the waves is very excited about kicking off the next round. I'm liking the enthusiasm. It's giving me a bit of energy as well. Um, but let, <laughs> uh, let's jump into it, shall we? <laughs> I'm liking it, I'm liking it. All right, let's do this, everybody. Let's jump into it. Make sure you've had your drink. Make sure you've, you, you, you know, you're relaxed. Make sure you're, you're back in your computer, you're back in your mobile, whatever your device you're using. Let's do this. Question number one in round four. On the British game show, Deal or No Deal, what was the lowest cash prize available in one of the 22 boxes? 1p, 10p, 50p, or a pound? On the British game show, Deal or No Deal, what was the lowest cash prize available in one of the 22 boxes? Was it 1p, 10p, 50p, or a pound? What was the lowest prize available? Everyone watched Deal or No Deal in donkey's years. I don't even think it's still on anymore. Uh, but your time is up. The correct answer was 1p. 1p. One penny. Uh, well done, four idiots and a marginally less tiny baby. You were the quickest team there. Well done to you. Next question. How many James Bond films did Daniel Craig appear playing the lead role? Three, four, five, or six? How many James Bond films did Daniel Craig appear playing the lead role? Three, four, five, or six? <coughs> How many films did Daniel Craig appear in playing the lead role? How, how many feature length films did he appear in? The time is up. He appeared in Casino Royale, Quantum of Solace, Skyfall, Spectre, and No Time to Die, which is five. Well done if you got that one right. Uh, Phillyville Trailer Park, you were the quickest team there. Well done. Next question. Which of these actors has never been nominated for an Academy Award? Emma Thompson, Gary Oldman, Maggie Smith, or Alan Rickman? Which of these actors has never been nominated for an Academy Award? Emma Thompson, Gary Oldman, Maggie Smith, or Alan Rickman? <coughs> Which of these has been nominated for an Academy Award? Emma Thompson, Gary Oldman, Maggie Smith, or Alan Rickman? Your time is up. Um, unfortunately, Alan Rickman was never nominated for an Academy Award, but Emma Thompson, Gary Oldman, and Maggie Smith um, all were. Well done, Clutching at Straws. You were the quickest team. Well done. Next question. What was Marilyn Monroe's original first name? Jane, Norma, Doris, Betty. 
what was Marilyn Monroe's original first name? Jane, Norma, Doris, or Betty? Jane, Norma, Doris, Betty. What was Marilyn Monroe's first name? Marilyn Monroe, what was her first name? Your time is up. The correct answer was Norma. Norma was Marilyn Monroe's original first name. Most of you knew that one. 90% of you got it right. But Pascal, you were the quickest. Well done. Next question. Who won the first ever series of Pop Idol in 2002? Was it Steve Brookstein, Paul Potts, Will Young or Michelle McManus? Who won the first ever series of Pop Idol in 2002? Steve Brookstein, Paul Potts, Will Young or Michelle McManus? Who won the first ever series of Pop Idol? Again, a long time ago. I vaguely remember watching it when I was a wee lad. Hey, time's up. Um, so the correct answer was Will Young. Steve Brookstein, Steve Brookstein won the first series of The X Factor. Paul Potts won the first series of Britain's Got Talent. And Michelle McManus won the second series of Pop Idol. Um, so Will Young was the correct answer. Well done if you got that one right. Next question. Justin Timberlake was originally a member of which band? NSYNC, Backstreet Boys, New Kids on the Block, or Hanson? Justin Timberlake was originally a member of which band? <clears throat> NSYNC, Backstreet Boys, New Kids on the Block, or Hanson? NSYNC, Backstreet Boys, New Kids on the Block, or Hanson? All great bands. All got their, got, you know, got some favourite songs in there, but which one was Justin Timberlake from? Your time is up. The correct answer was NSYNC. Again, most of you knew that one. 94% of you knew that one, so it's going to be a tough round, this, I think. Next question. Which, what animal was Arthur's best friend Buster from the children's TV series Arthur? Dog, weasel, monkey, rabbit. What animal was Arthur's best friend Buster from the children's TV series Arthur? Dog, weasel, monkey, or rabbit? I'm not sure what happened there with the question, but uh, I'll give you all a few extra seconds just in case there was an issue there. It seemed to have been fine on my end, but uh, I'm not sure. Um, your time is up. Uh, the correct answer there was rabbit. Arthur's best friend Buster was a rabbit. Well done if you got that one right. Uh, Quiz Packham, Pascal, CBs, Sailor Beeves, you all got that one right, so well done. Next question. Which of these is not a perfume brand released by pop star Britney Spears? Curious, Fantasy, Believe, Elixir. Which of these is not a perfume brand released by Britney Spears? Curious, Fantasy, Believe, ele Elixir. Which, is, which of those is not released by Britney Spears? Curious, Fantasy, Believe, Elixir. Your time is up. Um, the correct answer was Elixir. Elixir is a Shakira perfume brand, but Curious, Fantasy and Believe, all by Britney Spears. Well done, we're gonna quiz whip your ass. You're the quickest team there, and I think that's your first one of the night, so well done. Next question. Which member of S Club 7 was the first one to leave the group? Paul Catamole, John Lee, Rachel Stevens, Hannah Spirit. Which member of S Club 7 was the first one to leave the group? Paul, John, Rachel, or Hannah? Which one was the first to leave? Broke my heart when I was a young, you know, a young babby. Loved Desk Club 7, as, as I'm sure most of you did as well. Paul Catamole, John Lee, Rachel Stevens, or Hannah Spirit? The correct answer was Paul Catamole. Paul Catamole was the first one to leave the group. Very, very unfortunately so. Uh, well done, CBs, Universally Challenged, Trivia Newton-John, Sunnyvale Trailer Park, 
You all got that one right. Next question. In which US city is the majority of the 1990 film Home Alone set? New York City, Chicago, Boston, Philadelphia. In which US city is a majority of the film Home Alone set? New York City, Chicago, Boston, or Philadelphia? Where is Home Alone set? New York City, Chicago, Boston, or Philadelphia? I'm sure many of you will start watching Home Alone if you haven't already. We're in the run up to Christmas, and it's always on most people's lists of best Christmas movies. Uh, but the correct answer was Chicago. I saw a lot of you put New York City there, but you might be thinking of Home Alone 2. Uh, but Home Alone is set in Chicago. Well done, Quiz Packham. You were the quickest team there. Well done. Uh, but Lucy's Psychiatry Brew Booth, General Knowledge and Private Thoughts, Helena Handbasket, Roy Crocker's Riding Crop. You all got it right as well. And that is the end of round four. Ooh, very different top five teams here. Let's have a look, shall we? In fifth place for that round only, we had Sunnyvale Trailer Park. In fourth place for that round only, we had the Parr Family. In third place for that round only, we had two peas in a pod. In second place for that round only, we had four idiots and a marginally less tiny baby. But in first place for that round only, we had universally challenged. Will that change the leaderboard? It's definitely changed some of it. It's very, very tight now. And we have one more round to go. Round five is who is this? It's our picture round and how that's going to work is I'm going to show you a picture of a famous actor or actress but their face has been melted, it's been distorted. All you have to do is try and figure out who that actor or actress is and you need to give me the first letter of their name. So we are looking for the first letter of their name. Now all of these actors and actresses have something in common, very much like the first round and the last question in this round will be, what do these actors and actresses have in common? Again, don't spoil it in the chat if you figure out what the uh, link is. Keep it to yourself. Make sure you get as many points as you can without ruining it for everybody else. Well, let's jump into it, shall we? Celebrity slash actor, actress number one. What is the first letter of this actor's name? Who is this? Who do you think it is? Dun, 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 dun. Who do you think it is? Ah. Shake it, move it, twist it, bop it. Who do you think it is? Who do you think this is? Unlike the first round, I will be telling you who these are um, as we go along. So even if you can't figure them out, you'll still be able to maybe have a chance at figuring out the link at the end. Uh, but time is up. This is um, Michael Sheen. Or is it Martin Sheen? It's one of the sheens, and M will be the correct answer anyway. Uh, well done, four idiots and a marginally less tiny baby. You were the quickest team to get it right. But Regina Falange, inside number nine, two peas in a pod. Let's get quizzical. You all got it right as well. Uh, let's move on to the next celebrity. What is the first letter of this actor's name? Who is this one? Who is this one? Yeah, it was Michael before. I always get them mixed up. But who is this? <laughs> Looks a bit like an alien, but who is it? Your time is up. This is Pierce Brosnan, so P is what we were looking for. Uh, well done, Regina Falange. You were the quickest team there to get it right. Um, but only eight of you got that one right, so you know another good one to get right. Next question, what is the first letter of this actor's name? Who is this one? I wonder if anybody knows what they have in common yet. I don't know. Could be a number of things. But who do you think this is? Lots of you getting it right. This might be an obvious one. We'll see. Your time is up. Uh, this is Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep. So M is what we were looking for. Well done, Where's Wally? You were the quickest team there. Uh, but also well done to uh, Two Peas in a Pod, Trivia Newton John, Denser than Mensa, Friendly Quizzes. Well done, you were it right as well. Next question. 
Uh, what is the first letter of this actor's name? Oh, the D's <laughs> coming out of my nose. Oh no. What is the first letter of this actor's name? Who is this? Yeah, definitely people are getting it right. But I wonder if anyone has the link yet. Your time is up. This is Hugh Grant. So H is what we were looking for. H is what we were looking for. Well done, two peas in a pod. You were the quickest team there. Next question. What is the first letter of this actor's name? Who is this? What about this one? Who is this one? What is the first letter of this actor's name? Who is this? Ooh, this this round might change the leaderboard. It's definitely definitely a tricky one. Uh, this one is Gary Oldman. So G is what we were looking for. Again, well done, four idiots and a marginally marginally less tiny baby. You are the quickest. Uh, but Bear beats Battlestar Galactica. You were pretty quick there as well, so well done. Next question. What is the first letter of this actor's name? If you if you think you've got the link, you might be able to make an educated guess. So far we have had Michael Sheen, Pierce Brosnan, Meryl Streep, Hugh Grant and Gary Oldman. They all have a link. But I'm not going to tell you until the very end. But who is this one? Your time is up. This is Gillian Anderson. Gillian Anderson. This might give it away, I think, if you if you have a rough idea. Uh, but well done to Lucy's Psychiatry Booth. You were the quickest team there. Well done. Next question. What is the first letter of this actor's name? Who is this? Who is this one? I think this is an easy one, but you might disagree. Who is this? What is the first letter of this actor's name? Your time is up. This is Emma Thompson. Emma Thompson. This is what we were looking for. So E. Well done, Lucy's Psychiatry Booth. Again, you are the quickest team. This is your time to shine. Uh, next question, only a few left. What is the first letter of this actor's name? What is the first letter of this actor's name? Who is this? What is the first letter of this actor's name? Your time is up. This is Timothy Spall. So T is what we were looking for. Ooh, Lucy Psychiatry Booth. You are on a roll. You're the quickest team again. Uh, well done to you. Only two more left. What is the first letter of this actor's name? Who is this? What is the first letter of their name? This might be the hardest one of the ten, I think. But some of you have it. Some of, uh, you've proven me wrong. Who is this? Oh, some of you have definitely proven me wrong. Your time is up. This is... This is John Hurt. So J is what we were looking for. Well done, Lucy's Psychiatry Booth. Again, you are on a roll. Oh, let's see if this changes much. And the last question in this round, uh, picture-wise, what is the first letter of this actor's name? And then I will be asking you for a link, but who is this first? Start thinking of a link. We have had Michael Sheen, P.S. Brosnan, Meryl Streep, Hugh Grant, Gary Oldman, Gillian Anderson, Emma Thompson, Timothy Spall, John Hurt, and whoever this is. Who is this? Uh, your time is up. This is John Sim. Let's wrap it up. So J again. 
Well done, four idiots and a marginally less tiny baby. You were the quickest team for this one. But the last question in this round. What do the actors and actresses in this round all have in common? What do they have in common? The last question in this round. See, oh, some of you, so, yep, some of you have got it right. I'm very happy. I'm always a little bit nervous to see if people get it. But your time is up. What we were looking for, all of these actors and actresses have played UK prime ministers in film and TV. Um, universally challenged, you're the quickest to get it right, but fist of pure emotion, two peas in a pod. Trivia Newton John, I'll give you it as well. Um, Lucia Psychiatry Booth, you have got it. Um, that's, that's that's all I'm giving the points to on this round. Well done if you've got this right. Um, just to go through them very, very quickly, Michael Sheen has played Tony Blair on a new, new number of times. Pierce Brosnan played the UK Prime Minister in a film called The Ghost Writer. Meryl Streep played Margaret Thatcher in The Iron Lady. Hugh Grant played the UK Prime Minister in Love Actually. Gary Oldman has played uh, Winston Churchill in The Darkest Hour, I think. Gillian Anderson played Margaret Thatcher in The Crown. Emma Thompson played the UK Prime Minister in the TV series Years and Years. Timothy Spall played Winston Churchill in The King's Speech. John Hurt played the UK Prime Minister in V for Vendetta. And John Sim played um, UK Prime Minister Saxon in the Doctor Who TV series. So, well done if you got that one right. It was a, it was a tough one, but um, well done if you got it right regardless. Let's have a look to see if that has changed the top five. Let's have a look, shall we? In fifth place for that round only. So, reminding you all, we're going to do that round first. In fifth place for that round only, we had Sunnydale Trailer Park. In fourth place for that round, we had Inside Number Nine. In third place, for that round only, we had Trivia Newton-John and Four Idiots and a Marginally Less Tiny Baby. In second place for that round, we had Two Peas in a Pod. And in first place for that round, we had Lucy's Psychiatry Booth. Well done. Very different top five as well. Will What will this change on the leaderboard? We will see very shortly. Um, but before we jump into the leaderboard, we're going to have one last very quick bonus question. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you a question which has numerous multiple answers. Sometimes a question could have 20 answers, sometimes it could have 200 answers. What you need to do is give me a correct answer, but also an answer that no other player tonight has given us. So it has to be correct, but also unique. If you get a correct and unique answer on this final bonus question, it won't go towards your quiz score tonight, but it will mean your house is awarded with 50 additional house points if you care about those. Um, all of the unique and correct answers will be announced on Instagram and Twitter after the quiz. So make sure to follow us there to see if your answer was one of the few that made it through. But let's do it. Very, very quick bonus question at the end of the quiz just to tie it all together. What I want you to do is name me a winner of the UK series of Celebrity Big Brother. Name a winner of the UK series of Celebrity... So I can't say it. Celebrity... Cele celebrity Big Brother. <laughs> that was very hard. Why was that hard? Name me a winner of the UK series of Celebrity... CBB. Um, you need to give me a correct answer, but also an answer that nobody else, no other player gives us as well. It has to be unique. Name me a winner of the UK series of Celebrity... Oh my god, why is that so hard? Okay, dog. your time is up for that question. As I mentioned, um, all of the unique and correct answers will be announced on our Instagram and Twitter after the quiz. So give us a follow at Quiz with HQ if you want to see if you, if your answer was one of the few that made it through and has won your house some extra points. Now let's let's uh, you know let's wrap this up. Let's. I'm really struggling to speak now. It's all of the uh, the coldness that are clearly coming through. Um, let's have a look at the leaderboard, shall we? Now, we are only going to give you the top 10 tonight, plus the random leaderboard position winner. If you do not make it to the top 10, but you still want to know where you landed, the full leaderboard will be live on our website tomorrow morning. It may be on tonight, but we don't want to promise that. So have a look tomorrow morning if you want to see if you're on the leaderboard, uh, where you were on the leaderboard. 
let's jump into it. First of all, the random leaderboard position prize winner tonight, who came in 13th with 1,243 points, was inside number 9. So well done to you. You have won a £10 gift voucher and a free ticket to a future quiz. Uh, we'll be in touch with you after the quiz to sort that out for you. So very well done to you. And now onto the top 10. In 10th place with 1,312 points, we have Cab Santa Clue. Oh, I, oh, I've just got it. I've just got the poem. And it's very funny. And I'm quite annoyed that I've only just got it after this whole time. Ninth place with 1,316 points, we have Fist of Pure Emotion. In eighth place with 1,339 points, we have Universally Challenged. In seventh place with 1,342 points, we have Let's Get Quizzical. In sixth place with 1,347 points, we have Sailor Beeves. In 5th place, with 1,431 points, we have Lucy's Psychiatry Booth. In 4th place, with 1,457 points, we have 4 Idiots and a Marginally Less Tiny Baby. In 3rd place, with 1,499 points, we have Helena Handbasket. In 2nd place, with 1,753 points, we have Sunnyvale Trailer Park. Which means in first place, with 1,786 points, we have two peas in a pod. Congratulations, team, two peas in a pod. You have won our November General Knowledge Live Online Pub Quiz. Well done to you. You've won a £20 gift voucher of your choice and a free ticket to a future quiz. Um, as I said to the random winner, we will be in touch with you after the quiz tonight to sort out your prize. But that is the end from me. There's no more quiz questions tonight. Um, we hope you enjoyed it. We hope we brightened up your Sunday as best we can now that it's dark and cold and mostly miserable. Um, I'd like to give you another reminder that we have launched a Patreon, patreon.com forward slash quizwithhq. If you like our quizzes and you want to support us and you want some nice little extra goodies as well, um, have a look, see if you can help us out, see if you can support us, but there's absolutely no pressure whatsoever. Um, there's three tiers, each has different benefits, each have different subscriptions. Just have a look if you want to. Um, and do support us if you can. Uh, but that's it from me. Um, I hopefully we'll see you again at a future quiz. Uh, our next quiz is next Sunday and it's best of British music. So if you like British music and you want to test out your music trivia, make sure to book a ticket for that and join us next Sunday. But that's it from me. I'm going to have a nice bath and hopefully warm up a little bit and feel a bit better. Uh, but have a great rest of your Sunday and hopefully we will see you again very, very soon. <laughs>